Hello there, my crafty friends. It's Ashley Pfeiffer, the maker behind Stamped AF. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada. This month, the Stamping Society is bringing you uninked. So we chose items that we had in our stash that we haven't yet used. And because the last chance list just came out last week and this beauty is on there, I thought I'd better ink it up while it's still around. So I have done my tutorial using the same set and I have totally changed it up for this card. So when I first saw that golf die, I thought, ooh, that would make a really neat moon. And I thought about doing the phases of the moon, like having full moon and the waning and, you know, until it was all done. And then I thought, nah, I should use the golfer. So I die cut him on just black cardstock and it was just basically a lump sitting there. So I decided I was going to emboss him. And I'm using a couple of items that are retiring on this card. And so let's get our craft on. So I chose to use all of the outgoing in colors because why not? They make a great rainbow and uh, you're probably wondering why I'm using sponge jobbers. Typically I would use cosmetic brushes, but because this was so many colors and I had just done a card using the makeup brushes, I thought, well, let's get some practice here. So a key to great ink blending, especially with sponge daubers, is to always go over the area that you've just gone over with the other color to blend them. So for the most part, you'll find that I have two sponge daubers on my fingers at all times. And I have done the last part of this all in lovely lipstick so that when I add that blueberry bushel, it'll be a lovely purple shade. And full disclosure, this blending went a lot easier on my sample card something about having a camera recording you that just things don't go as planned. Just when I think I have it done, I go and do my spritzing and then I decide it needs a little bit more blueberry bushel. So I add some more and then spritz it again. I will just set this aside to dry and stamp and emboss the golfer. I have found recently that if I preheat my heat tool on the highest setting and then switch it to the low setting when I go to emboss, I get a lot less warping. And I want to set this aside to cool before I die cut it, so I just do a quick 10 second tidy. Just trim off a little bit of excess on the sides there, and now we are ready to create our moon. If you can use Whisper White thick cardstock, it gives the great definition, but if you're using a colored cardstock like I am, I would suggest doubling it up, and it gives you that great dimension. And here I'm just going to do a little bit more ink blending to make this look realistic and less like a gray golf ball in the sky. So I think they're called Blakes on the moon. So I've just used some Q-tips and sponge jobbers to add a little bit of depth and add those moons. I did have a little moment there, but if you saw there was that little puff of embossing buddy powder, it literally had me coughing and sneezing and choking all at the same time. It was a hoot. Just adhere it with some liquid adhesive and to help me burnish that cardstock down, I just turned it over and now I'm just using a jelly roll pen to add some bright, bright stars. Pop the moon up on a few mini dimensionals and just glue that golfer down. I am using the white watercolor pencil here to just add some highlights, again, so that it's not that big black blob. 
And now I'm adding the sentiment. And if you saw on the front, I have you are the best. So I wanted to really hammer down that seriously, the best. So I'm just using marker to stamp technique and added a few dots. And that's pretty much it. I hope that you enjoyed that video. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, I would love for you to join me on my channel. And you'll catch a new video each and every week. And I thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.